There is a power in your silence and restraint. This is not a weakness. It is an unquantifiable expression of strength. One powerful show of character and strength is not giving into every word or action thrown your way. To be a person of this nature, you must master the skill of not reacting. Why is this important? Why must it be mastered? Continue watching this video to find out. To harness this power of not reacting, you first have to recognize extreme emotions and delay impulsive reactions when they come to the surface. Here are some tips to help you become more reserved. Chemical Countdowns The first tip to be more reserved is just being in the moment by taking slow breaths. There is a tendency to go with a rush of the emotions that flood our minds upon hearing certain words or receiving certain actions. But taking a second to have a countdown in our minds goes a long way. Psychologists refer to this as a chemical countdown. From 1 to 10, from 10 to 1 again. As basic as it sounds, practicing chemical countdowns helps you calm your nerves and remain in control of your impulses. Find your roots. Ask yourself the right questions. Identify what is really triggering you. Sometimes, when someone does or says something to provoke a reaction out of you, most times it's not what they said or did. Sometimes it's not even the how or why, but rather something else entirely that has to do more within us than them. When next you're offended, ask yourself, is this really a valid reason to cause me to act out of character or am I just looking for an excuse to vent inner resentment? If you're finding this video helpful, please give it a like and a thumbs up. Let go of reserved anger or stress. According to Sarah Lindbergh for Healthline, Pent-up anger, or anger that's been withheld and not expressed, can affect your mental and physical health. That's why it's important to identify, address, validate, and move past these feelings. The longer we bottle up stress, anger, or resentment, the more chances it emerges in moments we don't expect. I know you're hurt. It's okay to be tired. But it serves you more to release your emotions in a fruitful and productive manner. This can be letting it out through working out, running, or having a conversation with whoever caused you hurt if it's safe for you. If not, distance yourself, but talk to a third party you both respect. The goal is to be in control of the negative emotions, and not allow them to grow within you to the extent they control you. Know the consequences. A huge reason many don't know the power of reservation is that they can't see nor understand the consequences of uncalculated reactions. When you take a moment to discern the results of a sudden reaction, you might just prefer to stay calm and rise above the situation. For example, if reacting would only make matters worse, or drag you into a messy situation, perhaps that was the intention, to bring you down. You wouldn't want to give someone or something beneath you more power, would you? Have empathy. An ultimate technique to help you master the art of not reacting is to be full of love and empathy. When your heart is abundant with love and empathy, it will be difficult to take offense because you see beyond their actions and see the hearts and intentions behind them. And when you see their heart, instead of being hurt by their actions, you see things from their point of view. You see their pain and not get caught up in your feelings. Benefits of not reacting. Why should you master the art of not reacting? Being invincible. If someone is deliberately provoking you to elicit a reaction for their own benefit, Mastering the art of not reacting becomes even more crucial. The more composed and unbothered you remain, the less likely they are to continue using that tactic against you. Better decisions. Imagine how much more peaceful and fulfilling your life could be with clearer, more thoughtful choices. When you're calm, you can make better decisions. These decisions result in a better quality of life. A study by the University of California, San Diego, found that self-control significantly contributes to gaining and maintaining power, which is vital for effective leadership. Your ability to manage impulses and stay focused on long-term goals makes you the leader you are deep within. Strong Relationships John Gottman, an expert in couple therapy, highlights that negative communication patterns during conflicts can deeply hurt relationships if not addressed. Harsh words and criticism can escalate conflicts fostering resentment and defensiveness. By being mindful and compassionate in our communication, you can nurture stronger, more resilient relationships. If your important relationships must last, as much as there has to be transparency, there has to be gentleness during heated conversations. More focus. Taking your attention from a necessary thing shifts your sight to the things that truly matter. For example, 
Let's say someone runs into you without apologizing, or someone's trolling your content in the comments section. You can react in attack or defense. Better still, you can just resume your journey and not let people's negativity distract you from your momentum. You're not a robot. You're a human with feelings and impulses. It is okay to feel, but you don't always have to give power to those feelings. Because in the end, feelings may fade, but the words or actions that spur us on impulsively will stick with us. By utilizing these tips, you will master a super trait that makes you a leader in a situation. Want to learn more about habits that build confidence and self-esteem? Watch this video. And as always, thank you for watching.